Are you thinking about building a new home? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a few things to familiarize yourself with new construction. And I'll just give you a quick shot of the floor joist with the crawl down here. You probably tore this open to have access. You can see the little pony walls down there. And they use more than just your standard gravel. Um, you can see the TGI floor joists, some of the Visqueen down underneath there. This is just the basic start. And now after this, they'll start snapping lines to throw up walls. Just going back to the one garage, again, a little jog out in the front. So they're going to have a little box window out here. Now, a lot of times people during the construction process, they always ask me about a chip in the concrete and they think it's, a, you know, it's not, it's at fault. It's concrete. This is just the surface right here. You're probably two feet thick down there. I can see the thickness on that. So it's more uh, aesthetically. You can thin set that, you can put a little filler, but it's not gonna structurally hurt the house at all. And how does that happen? Typically when they come in here with a bobcat, he's moving around with the bucket, he'll, t he'll hit it or just nick it and it, it's just like a piece of glass that'll chip and that's normally why when you pour a foundation you wait at least a week before you put any equipment around it it's still very green and it doesn't take it that long to stiffen up to where you can get machinery around it but that's just from the bucket hitting it but it's not it's not anything to really be upset about this is the anchor bolt that holds the house in place right here these bolts, anchor bolts right here, the ones with a little bit of rust on them. They'll drill holes in that green board and put that, and that is what basically holds the house in place. Yellow pipe indicates gas. Your other is low voltage right here, and this is your electric, that little box right here on the ground. And here's a little tip. Typically what you do is you split the lots. One, one lot to the left will get the green box. The one to the right will get the pedestal right here. That's a, usually a good indicator. So if you're out looking at a lot, use that as a reference point. Coming out of the garage here, this is, will be the front door. And they'll have a little step as far as grading. But before I go there, again, black pipe, that's your clean out for plumbing. So you can see the green sticker, I'll show you that. That means it's past inspection. If you see red, means you're dead. You gotta redo it or fix whatever the problem is. So still standing on the grade here. Here's the plate that I was talking about. There's the foam, there's the green. And then here, there we go. Um, it looks like five eighths, let's be wafer board type scenario um, a lot of people always always ask me they were concerned when this would be exposed to the elements they put special glues in here that repels water so it doesn't absorb and become filled with a mildew and any kind of I don't know, mold if you will um, so you'll see snow laying on this now I'm not saying you got to leave it laying around forever but um, you know, it can hold up to being exposed to the weather for some time. Now, I don't know if this is going to show. Framers have already snapped the lines. So that's where your walls are going to go. So we talked about it before, but here's your red lines as far as snapped. They use red chalk. It doesn't uh, fade away. Two by six. Here's an inside partition. You can see the width. It's going to be a two by four partition. So. If you were to walk on this deck, you'd see all the different lines snapped, and you can almost tell which wall is a 2x4 or a 2x6. Because of the height of these walls, they've used engineering studs to go all the way the distance. They need that support all the way up. Regular 2x6 doesn't have that integrity that you need. So anywhere where you see the orange studs, that's engineered studs. There's a 
patio back here. Again, prep, really nice workmanship. Everything is clean around here, stacked. You can walk on here and not have any issues. This is another jog, so you can see it's roughly 24 inches coming out of the main body here with your crawl space vents right here. And if you look closely, it's prepped for concrete. You can see the base that's been compacted. So I can tell without seeing the plans again that they'll have a patio out here. Okay, now that I'm on the rear of the house, again, you can see the jog. And I'm gonna say that's four feet. So most likely right here is covered. They're gonna use this as the support for the columns if they're overhanging or any kind of beam at this point. And it's probably gonna cantilever a little bit further out. So this will all be covered. This is this crawl space vents right here. So when I walk up to a house, I can immediately look for this knowing that it has a crawl versus being on a slab. So you can see the vents all the way around the house. Here's your property pin. So typically how you have it set up is, let's just say it's a uh, square rectangular. You're gonna have two fronts and two backs. This is the road right here. If you look, if it's possible, there's a piece of rebar with a yellow cap on top of it right here. So normally right there, this is your, your front property line. So if you have the plan on this, you can easily pull a tape from here down to the next one and you can find it even if you couldn't locate it. Another thing right here is the blue. Blue always represents water. So that's where they're pulling the water from right there. They've probably, now I don't see it out on the site itself that they've pulled the water yet, but they'll trench it right from here, from here all the way down in the house and they have to be below frost line. So they'll just pull it all the way over there, backfill it, and then you have water to the house. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions regarding new construction, feel free to reach out to me, either by text, phone call, or email. And also a suggestion, check out my website, dalefrazel.com. It's all about new construction. So I think it'd be beneficial. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified. I do make weekly videos. Until next time, take care.